It is the last Monday in 2020. Thank you, Hannah, for reminding me of that. It actually made my day. It actually made me go, all right, look at this. We're at the very tail end of what seems to be a dumpster fire of a year or maybe something else. Hi, I'm Jackie with Coventry Creations. And I want to talk about how we can do some new year transformational magic. We deserve it. It's been one heck of a year. We have decided to eliminate the words pivot, unprecedented. Those are now out of our language because we're a little done with that. And let's take all this stuff and let's take the goal setting that I normally do at this time of year uh, for the next year and let's turn it into a little bit of magic. So many different coaches I've worked with, books I've read, websites, um, from Danielle Laporte to different coaches to all kinds of things, talk about very similar things. To take a perspective on last year, decide what you want to keep and what you want to go, and then from that, figure out what you want to manifest in the new year. So let's look at this. So this is going to be a minute. I want you guys to hang with me, listen, and then maybe look again and write this stuff down because this is literally what I'm doing. And I want you to do it too, because once I started this process, I felt amazing. Once I started letting go of 2020, I mean, my, my energy is lifted up so much more. So I want you to ask yourself some questions. Here, here we're, we're going to go now. So we're going to figure out what we're going to leave behind in 2020. So ask yourself some questions. What surprised you this year? I mean, pandemic, yeah. But, but what surprised you in how you dealt with it on how you move forward in your life? What disappointed you? Seriously, what disappointed you? For me, the first thing that came to my head was society. So I had to really unpack that a little bit and figure out what else disappointed me in 2020. And what surprised me in 2020 was community. How about that? Well, a little um, contradiction there. So the next question I want you to ask yourself is, what did I do great? And then also ask, where did I fall short? So look at that top 5% and that bottom 5%. The rest is just how we function, but let's look at that top five and look at that bottom five. And when you write all that out, it might be one sentence, it might be 10. Now you're gonna ask yourself, what are the ways that 2020 or this past year changed you for the better and that you would like to keep? You might want to think about that a little bit, take a little time and then ask yourself, what areas of 2020 and what are the things that you did and how you behaved and, and those, all that stuff in 2020 that you want to leave behind? the emotions, the habits, the thoughts, the beliefs, what do you want to leave behind? Write it all down. Then here's where the magic comes in, friends. Take your candle holder and your needed change candle. Pop your needed change candle in your candle holder and put that list right underneath. Or you can do what I do and write on that candle holder with a Sharpie. I like to have a list because I'll refer back to it, but I do like to write on the candle holder with a Sharpie. It just comes off with um, glass cleaner. You're good. Or hand sanitizer. Comes right off. So you can use that over and over again. Spend a little time with this and what you want to let go and let go of it. Do that visualization. Maybe make a second copy of that list and, and go ahead and burn it outside, of course. And, and see what you're going to let go. Drum it out. Scream it out. What are you letting go of in 2020? You might do this whole thing over a couple of days. We have a couple of days until the, uh, the first of the year. So you got a minute. So just let it go. Cry it out. Talk it out. I did this whole process with a good friend. And she challenged me on a few things. She goes, well, you know, are you sure you want to keep that one? Or don't forget, you went a little crazy on this. So having that good magic, I call them my, um, my magical um, partners. Have a couple different magical partners so grab your magical partner and, and do this first part together and work on what you're going to get rid of uh, maybe even playing some really heavy music while you get rid of it to just really bring up all those emotions so you can clear them all at the same time 
then let's get into 2021 goal setting. And yes, this is magical. When you set your intent on a spell, you're goal setting. So why not take goal setting and make it magical? So let's think about those areas in 2020 that happened this year that changed you for the better and that you want to keep. Think about the things that really went well, the things that didn't go so well. So you got the went well and didn't go so well and, and kind of bring that balance. Like you might want to keep something that didn't go so well so you can get better at it. And think about what went really well so you can expand on it. What do you want to create time for? What do you want to bring into your life? So start that list. Think about all of these things. And while you're doing this, you want to light a prosperity candle, maybe a money draw candle, maybe Ganesh, open the road, or a road opener candle. Maybe you want to do a witch's purse to really fill in all of those hidden resources while you're doing this. Or one of my faves, a little problem solving. So you want to bring these into your life. They're not in your life, so there might be something in the way. And that's really where the magic is. That's what the goal setting is all about. This is what I want over here. So what are all the steps I need to get there? As you light this candle and you think about all the things you want, I invite you to look at that wheel of life balance. Not, not the, you can look at it as, as the wheel of the year, but there's eight sections to it. And maybe I'm just having an inspiration moment. Maybe they do coincide. But think about these eight areas of your life that you want to bring in balance. When any one of these areas is like low or you're not working on it, think about it as like a flat and the tire, you can't move forward in life. So the eight areas are, and this is where you want to set your goals, only one, trust me, only one. We can only hand, I mean, if you, if you put a goal in each one of them, you got eight goals. So put a goal in the area that you want to improve or work on. Not all areas need work. One is career and business. Number two is finances and wealth. Number three, friends and family. Number four, fun and entertainment. Number five, health. Number six, your love life. Number seven, personal or spiritual development. And number eight, your physical environment. So you might take this over the next week or a couple of days and, and think about what do you want to create or create time for or create space for in your life in those eight areas. And this is where you could pull out your Coventry Magic Oracle. You could say, all right, I'm not sure. Is there anything I need? Let's see. I want to look at friends and family. Is there some magic or some energy or some goal I need to set in that area of my life? Oh, that's funny. Adam and Eve popped up. You saw me shuffle. That might be a message for me. But um, that, that I need to create a deeper partnership, a deeper understanding with my family and my friends. So pull these things together. There's so anywhere on, on you can Google this and you can look at the um, eight areas of the wheel of life. Grab that, fill the stuff in, and make this part of your spell. Put this on the wall, put this in your pocket, put this in your planner. And magic that I talk about in Coventry Magic all the time, you have to meet it halfway. So if you're looking at manifesting a new career, put that in your goal setting for 2021. Put that in your planner. Put that in your face every day because you have to meet that magic halfway. You have to take action to make sure that magic can manifest in your life. You need to create an opening. If you never look for a job, you're not gonna find one. Um, very rarely are they ever just given to you. Um, and if you really have not made room for a job in your life, you're gonna go, no, I don't have time. I don't want it. Those are the things that, that is part of your magical process. So you do your spell work, you, you can then take this and turn this into a bigger ritual. You can do eight different rituals on this to see what you want to pull into your life. You can say, oh, um, career, I want to change my career, I want to increase business, or um, I want to get a 
better health. I want to create better health in my life or resolve some health issues. And then you can create some healing rituals around there, which include doing Reiki and, and other things like that. So over the next week, start to create a little action plan on this. This is the fun part. Create an action, one action step, just one. The first step is the most important. So create that action step and then create a trigger, a positive trigger that says, yes, I'm going in the right direction. Yes, I wanna work on this today. Yes, the universe is reminding me it's time to take the next step. So create that little trigger for yourself and it might be a thought. It might be um, a, a, every time you see a feather. It might be every time this one commercial comes on. So when you write all these things out and you create your one action step and a positive trigger, then you're gonna see an overall theme for yourself. And then this is where big magic comes in and we have a whole bunch of fun. Take a look at the theme. Is there an overriding idea that you have, an a, a emotion or a feeling that you're gonna manifest? What are the core words that keep repeating over and over again or a core concept? And then from there, find a quote, find a song, create a playlist, create a vision board, whatever it is that says, these are the things I'm going to manifest. These are, this is how I want to feel. And if you focus on how you want to feel, Danielle Laporte talks a lot about if you focus on how you want to feel with that goal, the goal will morph to make sure that you can uh, continue to have that feeling. If you're manifesting security in your life, um, if you realize that, oh, all these things are about manifesting security, and then you focus on manifesting that feeling of security, your plan might change because you might realize that these things that are your shoulds, oh, I should want that, I should want a new job, or I should want that, actually don't bring you security. It might be something else that needs to be healed to bring you security. So this is a little bit of work for you, my friends, my witches and my magical beings that all work together with Coventry stuff. Uh, you're all very magical. Being a witch is a verb. It's about taking action and bringing magic into your life in everything you do, even the mundane. So now that you listen to this video, take a minute, go get a pen and a pencil and write down the different things and write down the questions and then start answering them for yourself. Invite a beloved friend to join you in this process and see what you can create and then hang on to this for the rest of the year. Not the rest of your life, just the rest of the year. And as you make these things happen in your life, then you get to do the fun things like sustaining them and keeping them going in your life. Well, this is Jackie. I wish you a very happy and blessed new year. Don't put too much pressure on 2021. You know, it's already feeling it. It's got a big act to follow and a lot of stuff to heal for us. So just do one step at a time. Keep it magic. Every moment, every mundane moment of your life can be filled with magic if you choose to. Have a blessed year.